Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your August 2024 Tarot, an oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start off with a theme for today from the Edgar Casey Inspirational Quotes deck. You have thoughts are deeds. Do not be other than optimistic. Okay, it reminds me of Emmett Fox and the Seven Day Mental Diet, or if you've ever read Sermon on the Mount or some of his other materials, because your thoughts are creations. They become feelings, and those feelings are the key to it all. I mean, every spiritual teacher out there will teach you that. So definitely, we stay on the optimistic plane and good things start to happen. I've had times, I'll get going here, but where I've attracted negative things, and I said, you've got to change your energy. So anyway, we're all in, in charge of our own lives here, our own energy bodies at least. Let us consult the tarot. What guidance do you have for Scorpio, please? What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? All right, detailed Celtic cross style reading today, followed up by a couple of other oracle cards. Current situation, the king of wands taking charge of something. The immediate influence, oh, do <laughs> The five of swords, you're in your subconscious. You have the eight of wands. I do feel like it's time to separate from something here, and I don't see looking back. You've got the six of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, the more recent past, the hermit coming towards you. Now, it's actually reversed. It usually goes the hermit, then the wheel, but that's okay. There's meaning in that, too. You're represented by the six of swords. You have the Queen of Swords as the person you're attracting, the Ten of Pentacles here in your hopes and fears, the Moon and the Outcome. Now, the bottom of the deck, we have here the Emperor, the Knight of Wands, and Judgment. Well, I definitely feel like you have information that's going to come out, but I feel like they're telling you you're going to have to take some action and not to delay too much. You're represented by a card that says you're moving forward. And so you may might find, too, that you... You do a little bit of, you get enough information and then decide it's time to move now. It's time to make that change. Now, we have here Virgo, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Aries is here. Plus this Archangel Gabriel, which helps you be on your divine life purpose. Well, I do feel like too, if it's been a long time coming, like you've wanted to move and relocate, or there have been something with your job that you've been wanting to change, that energy of judgment can be a real tipping point. Now, the energy, too, if you're looking to start some kind of side hustle with that Knight of Wands, it's going to be on. I also feel like, too, though, if it is a side business, it's something where you're going to be in charge. You're not going to be in a position where you're being told what to do, not with the Emperor being here as well. I feel like it'll be one of those things where you'll make money on your own terms. And why not do it? You know, where you had, can call the shots. Doesn't everyone love that kind of freedom and autonomy? It's wonderful. It's rich. And so with this uh, energy too, the energy of the emperor is all about moving forward in a place of order and rules. This is not chaos. Even when the knight of wands comes in, he expedites things, yes. But you move forward here in a way that makes a lot of sense. So you're not going to go back and say, I don't know what I was thinking at that time. I do feel like somebody here gets a lucky break with money. Okay, so even if it is some kind of a side job or side hustle, I do feel like it brings in more money than you realize it was going to. Like you get into the place, even if you say, well, it's not going to hurt me to try it. I'm planning on doing it. I'll just see how it goes. I don't have really high expectations. I feel like with the moon, gifts are going to be in store. More will be revealed to you. It's a wonderful energy. Now, in terms of relationships here, I feel like you've got a very sort of set mindset. And I wouldn't say change that, not with the Queen of Swords, very particular. And so with the energy of love, you may have a secret admirer who's a bit intimidated or not. They want to make sure the timing is right. Now, if you've met somebody recently with that Wheel of Fortune and there's been some issues like they've had something with work or travel or some kind of a, it just feels like some kind of an other obligation, I do feel like they're going to have more time and the two of you will have more time to get to know each other and move forward with this. That Queen of Swords, though, is very decisive energy. It's somebody who will not play games. That is not who they are, not as the Queen of Swords would represent them. It could be an air sign, too. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius showing up here. Now, I rather like how this looks to me when you see the wheel with judgment and the moon because you've got these like upper part of the major arcana, but it's where it really feels like a, what feels like a lucky break or, you know, and I know it's really our own energy. I get that. But, you know, you say, man, things are really taking a turn for the better. Here it is right here. I mean, judgment day is the most important day of somebody's life. It's everything. And so especially with the moon energy where you take one step, the universe takes two. And that wheel of fortune, the wheel of life allows you to get information. So if things have been stagnant or stuck, they start to pick up again with the wheel. However, with the hermit being here, I do feel like somebody here, you may be the one that gets to call the shots on the timeline that you have more power than you realize. I also get too that people are going to be coming to you for advice. Now, even if you left a job, I feel like your former employer may contact you looking for advice or could you do us a favor or even if that's the side hustle, would you be willing to come back and we'll pay you, you name the price. I feel like again with the energy of the emperor, he I'm sorry, the um hermit. He is a card of wisdom and success and you have it with the emperor too though where it's calling your own shots. I just keep getting that, where your wisdom pays off. And you also, too, with that, in terms of relationships, you won't get involved with somebody that you don't belong with, not in this energy. So the Eight of Wands is in your subconscious. Yay, you. That's a great energy. Stay optimistic, but it's also, too, an energy of perfection coming straight from you. Okay, these wands that are just aligned so beautifully. The synchronicity is perfect. There are archers on the ground firing these guys off in perfect alignment, okay? It's when we see the crossed wands that are problematic. This is not a smooth sailing ahead. So as you get into this next cycle, you'll find that situations seem to present themselves very clearly. The decisions that you have to make are easy to make. This is the arrows of love too. So if you are single, you'll be attracting somebody that is easy for you to read that you're not going to be having to try to Google their name and figure them out and try to understand them. I mean, talk about red flags when we're having to be a private investigator on a pot potential love interest. I mean, I've done it too. So I'm not here to say that's crazy. That's somebody else's crazy. I've dipped my toe in those crazy waters myself. And so I guess it's just our own human nature to want to protect ourselves. That's how I see it, at least. It's like, you know, I just want to make sure. Um, so with this, you might find you don't even have time to hit Google. You're too busy being in love, being in rapture, being in moving forward. And so with the six of pentacles in the past here, I do feel like this too, for somebody, you may have a place if it's a job that still owes you money. I feel like that will get released too. Or even if it's an apartment where money got held up, like if it was somewhere, a lease or an apartment, where the business changed hands. I feel like somebody here, it was owed to them. They made that clear that they planned on paying you, but it seems like there was somewhat of a holdup. That's how I get it. So with the Six of Pentacles though, it is a card of balance, okay? The scales of balance come in. So it's a card of fairness. It's a card of getting paid your due, especially if you are owed money from something. I also feel like somebody here may have some accounts hanging out there with little bits and pieces of money on them. Like I heard consignment account where you may have sold clothes through a business and they have the actual honesty and integrity to contact you if they're going out of business to say, hey, we've got this money that's actually yours. Wouldn't that be refreshing? Um, so I do feel like with this, it sets the stage. Now, of course, I love the Wheel of Fortune because it's spicy. It makes life exciting again. It's also, too, though, a, a wonderful card if you're in a little bit of a place of waiting or wondering or even having questions about how the world works. How does this work? Well, here's where the answers come in. And if you need people in your life in terms of somebody to help you with something, you need a repair person, or you need something in terms of your job, or you need a vendor, here's where the people come in. It's great. So trust, have faith, but know that in the end, everything keeps pushing you towards joy unless you fight it. Okay, these characters, the Hermanubis and the serpent, this they're high vibrational. They're spinning up the wheel. And the sphinx on top of the wheel never loses his balance because he's always in the place of command. And so it really is a time where unless you try to fight things that are good for you and that are positive, you're going to keep moving and rolling in, this, in the right direction. And so with this, though, 
it is a time when things start to pick up again. So I actually don't mind the hermit being in reverse and showing up after the wheel because I feel like when you get the answers to questions, then you'll be judicious about how to apply the information. Now that wheel of fortune though, again, is a card of spirituality. So raising your vibration, you know, if music brings you up, listen to music that makes you feel good. If you have songs, as soon as you play it, it gives you a, a sick feeling. Do it, stay away from it. Get it out of your playlist. It, you know, and that that can be where we have music that we associate so many feelings with. So with the, um, I, did I ever talk about this Five of Swords? I feel like I skipped over this somehow. I apologize if I did. Um, I, I do want to address it because I see it sitting here. I think I went on with the King of Swords, but I do want to acknowledge this. In terms of letting go of conflict, okay? Because I it struck me as the Hermit, I felt like these two were almost connected. And so maybe that was one of those things where the hermit said, hey, you who, you need to go back and talk about that. I know we talked about the King of Wands, but I do want to say with this Five of Swords and with that King of Wands, that energy of expansion and moving forward, the hermit plays a key role in this, your wisdom. And so I do feel like you won't get caught up in things that you can tell right away are going to be conflict, more trouble than they're worth is how I keep hearing it. So I apologize if I got on a roll and just sped right through this. But with that Five of Swords, in terms of this, it is Five Sword Change card. And so the Hermit, you see how really the Hermit has his back turned? Okay, the Hermit doesn't mess around with this nonsense. So I do feel like in terms of the Hermit energy, you're gonna find that you move forward here and you come out on the other side. If there has been something uh, in terms of a change or an opportunity that comes in. Now I mentioned before though, I even get it too, with if you do have a job that contacts you, a previous job, I feel like you're going to have a bit of a, I mentioned you're going to have the upper hand, but you may have a bit of a reflective period where you kind of contemplate and say, yeah, okay, I can do this for this amount of money, you know, where you name your own price. Because with the Six of Swords representing you, this is a card of travel, but it is a card of even more importantly, moving forward out of conflict. And so we have the both the Five and the Six of Swords here. And so the Five of Swords, that conflict, the Six of Swords shows you moving on to easier times where you just, like I said, will not put too much investment into it. And so it feels rather petty or it feels maybe even too a bit of a transition. Now with the Queen of Swords here, she always looks forward. She does not look behind her. She's not trying to go back into the past and resurrect the past or fix things from the past. She just focuses on goals and moving forward. So communication that you get here too, moves things forward. It's about where are we going now? Where have we been? And so when you see this too, the people around you will want to be more focused on this. So even if you get into a situation where there's an opportunity to tell an old anecdote that might be negative, I feel like with this, they kind of say steer clear of that sort of thing, unless there's a good reason for it. Because I feel like the people around you are more in this kind of energy, wanting to move forward. So that Ten of Pentacles energy, you've got here the Wealth card showing up. And this is also a card, though, that says that there's harmony around you, where people are trying to work together. And so with this Ten of Pentacles, it is true perfection, it's dominion. And with the energy of the moon here, okay, we talked a little bit about this in the very beginning this is a card of change. It's a card of voluntary change, though. And so life is good, and yet there's more than meets the eye here. And so in a relationship, there may be somebody who really has some serious intentions, especially, too, I told you that, uh, at the beginning that I felt like this person may have some other obligation, and I feel like that's just a season for them, okay? It's like they kind of accept that they've got to and I like it about them because they've got to honor their commitments first, whatever other commitments they have, and not just sort of wipe those clean and say, well, I met somebody, so I'm moving on. I mean, this is about really a card of acceptance and a card of moving forward. So even if you're not in the planning field or the planning phase of it, this too with the wheel is where unexpected meetings come in, okay? You've got wonderful change of events, but sometimes they're not predictable, all right, that's what the cards are saying. Expect the unexpected. You've got the card of proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. And that's where I feel like you're going to get contacted about something that will be an opportunity that you can take or leave. And then we've got the whispers of love here. 
You've got here, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So that's a lot of times too what holds us back when we're sort of on the fence and not sure we got to get serious about it. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you and I'll be back again soon.